Hey guys, my name is Small Kiwi from FPS General, and this is a video for the PS2 Wiki. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Vanu Sovereignty's Pulsar Compact Carbine. Much like its assault rifle counterpart, the Pulsar Compact VS5's minimal recoil gives it a significant advantage when firing at distant targets. The Pulsar Compact is the default primary weapon for the Vanu Sovereignty's light assault and engineer classes. It has fairly low damage per shot, with respectable rate of fire. It has a standard 30 round magazine, and a better than average reload delay. Due to the very low recoil characteristics of the VS5, it is extremely accurate over medium and even long range, and is capable of continuous damage output at close and medium range. The standard iron sights on the Mercenary Carbine take up a substantial portion of the screen, so it's important to be aware of your surroundings when aiming down the sights. The Pulsar Compact currently has similar options as the other automatic weapons when it comes to weapon certifications or attachments. The first of these is the Suppressor, which silences your weapon and keeps you off radar. It costs 5 cert points. Next are some options for sights. A Reflex Sight for 5 cert points, 3.4x Scope for 10, 2x Reflex for 15, 4x for 20, a Laser 4x for 25, and 6x for 30. Last is the IRNV, which highlights friends, enemies, base turrets, and vehicles with an overlay, which will cost you 35 cert points. After the scopes, you have the laser dot, which increases your hip fire accuracy at a cost of 10 cert points. The flashlight attaches to your gun, allowing you to see better in low light for 20 cert points. And finally, the forward grip costs 40 cert points. All of this is subject to change as the game evolves throughout beta. The Pulsar Compact is a respectable weapon at close and medium range with a good damage output. The biggest advantage of using this weapon, along with many of Vanu's automatic weapons, is the incredibly light recoil, and it's best to use this to your advantage as much as possible. To that end, make sure you aim for the head, and you should be able to land multiple headshots while your opponent waves his gun wildly trying to hit you. Anyways guys, that'll do it for this video. Thanks for watching and I hope you learned something. Be sure to subscribe to us here on YouTube for more great shooter content and feel free to click out and take a look at any of the other PS2 vids and I'll see you in the next one.